Hey everyone, Tony from TN3 Studio and welcome back to another V-Ray tutorial. Today we are breaking down metal materials in V-Ray 5. Metals, also known as conductive materials, include anything from stainless steels, aluminum, chrome, copper and gold. So in this video we will learn how to create these basic metals and achieve some realistic results. This is also a complimentary video to the PBR material tutorial that's on the channel, so you want to be sure to watch that video for more useful tips. Now before we get started, hit that subscribe button and the bell notification so you get notified the next time we drop a new video. This video is also brought to you by Skillshare, but more on that later in the video. So let's start with polished metals as our base material. First you want to create a new generic material. For our diffuse color or texture, this becomes the base color of our metal material. It is the main difference between creating a chrome, aluminum, brass or gold. So for our example, we're going to set this color to gray. As for the refreshing color, this activates the reflection of every material and also enables the surface control, glossiness and roughness. So here you want to set this color to white. You want to make sure that Fresnel is checked and also enable the IOR value. Now metal materials have different IOR values. As a reference, I have a link in the description for this article in the Chaos Group website which has the different IOR values for different metal materials. For this example, we're going to use the value for silver which is 1.082. As for the metalness parameter, this is the on and off switch between metal and non-metal materials. As you know, metal materials will always have a metalness value of 1. As a result, the reflection color of the metal is defined by the color or texture in the diffuse parameter. Now looking at our preview, the reflection of our metal is almost too perfect. So let's use the reflection glossiness parameter and decrease it to 0.96 so that we can blur the reflections just a bit. And with those simple adjustments, those are the basic parameters needed to create polished metals. And by changing the diffuse with a color or texture, you can create the other types of common metals. Now from this point we can start to improve the quality of the materials by adding more details to these parameters. For example, we can create varieties in the diffuse color by using the fall off map. Now this map works similar to the Fresnel's map which lets you set two different colors and blend the visibility based on the viewing angle. So for our silver example, I will add a darker gray to the outer edges and a brighter gray in the inner edges. As you can see from our results, the effect can be very subtle but definitely add more realism to the material. This is also a possible approach to achieve the iridescence effect. By using the fall off in noise procedural and blending different colors, you can achieve a surface that shows different colors from different angles similar to these results. Next we got anodized metals and the easiest way to achieve this material is by adjusting the glossiness or roughness value. Now the goal of this material is to have a highly reflective surface with blurred reflections. So here you can have a glossiness value between 0.5 to 0.7 to achieve these results. For the next example, we need to add physical conditions to the surface of the metals so we can achieve oxidized, scratched and brushed metals. And for this we can use reflections, bump and displacement textures. So you can check sites like polygon.com, CC0 textures, SketchUp textures or you can create your own. So I'll have a link in the description for these sites as well as the name of the textures used in this example. Now in your reflection settings, the glossiness and roughness not only control the sharpness of the reflection but it's also a creative layer to add material imperfections. For example, if we want to add scratch to our metal, 
you can change the surface control to roughness and add a scratch texture here in linear color space. And also to add more detail, you can also add a very subtle bump map to your material. As well as the displacement modifier. For the most part on this example, I'm focused more on the basic metals such as silver, copper, or gold, and we're yet to use a diffuse texture. And because of that, we might run into some mapping issues like this, where your roughness texture renders incorrectly. So head over to the binding options of your material, switch the auto options to the texture helper, and then use one of the VA texture placement options to properly map this on your object. Next, we're going to create a very basic brush metal material, so let's start by adjusting our reflections. Turn on your advanced settings, and let's expand the anisotropic settings. Now, these parameters let you stretch and rotate the reflections to create that brushed effect. Now, negative values are going to give you that vertical stretch, while positive values are going to give you that horizontal stretch based on the local axis. So I'll leave the default settings on and try a value of 0.8 for a horizontal stretch. And now that our reflections are stretching in the right direction, let's add a subtle bump map to enhance the brush details on the surface of the material. Now before we continue, I want to give a quick shout out to Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. Skillshare is an online community with thousands of inspiring classes for creators. You can explore new skills, deepen existing passions, and get lost in your creativity. If you're looking for a complete guide in V-Ray for SketchUp, then I'll consider you checking out this great class by Tenish Patel. This is a very easy to follow class that shows you how to model in SketchUp and render with V-Ray. And a key takeaway is that this class covers how to use the V-Ray material editor so you can understand how to properly create basic and advanced V-Ray materials. So if you're interested in this class or any other topics, the first 1000 people to use the link in the description will receive a one month free trial of Skillshare Premium. Skillshare is curated specifically for learning, meaning that there are no ads and they are always launching new premium classes so you can stay focused and follow wherever your creativity takes you. So a big shout out to Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. And the last couple of materials on our list are pattern and perforated metal. Now adding patterns can be extremely simple. Make sure you are using a seamless pattern texture similar to this one and add it as a bump or a displacement. So let's add a displacement to our object. Load the texture on our displacement slot. And let's use a low displacement value for a subtle effect. And if you study the materials on the V-Ray library, you will find other interesting patterns that you can use. And moving on to a perforated metal, I'll use a combination of the displacement and an opacity map. Notice how there's a subtle difference between the bump and the opacity. Because bump or displacement is meant to add volume to the surface, while the opacity is meant to create a void in the surface. As such, the black values of this texture will render as transparent. So let's expand our opacity settings and load that texture here.
And now I have a question for you guys. What V-Ray material should I cover next? Leave a comment down below and I'll be sure to follow up in another tutorial. And make sure you are subscribed to the channel and turn notifications so you don't miss the next upload. Be sure to like and share and I'll see you guys next time.